Welcome to the bottom line dedicated to maximizing small business profits. In this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to effectively do an owner's withdrawal from a business in QuickBooks. Now for sole proprietorships or even single member LLCs, sometimes the owner wants to withdraw cash from the business for personal use. Now this is acceptable because you know as the owner of a small business you definitely want to get paid as well so in order to properly account for this inside of QuickBooks the most effective way to do owners draw is to write a check to yourself now of course this owners draw could be you know a withdrawal from the ATM machine it could be a withdrawal from inside the branch or you know you could write a check to yourself now in my opinion you know writing a check to yourself and deposit it into your personal account leaves an audit trail and so therefore you can always keep track of all of the withdrawals that you make to yourself through writing a check so how in QuickBooks however you could account for this write check even if you are making um, an ATM withdrawal or withdrawal at inside the branch so where I want would like to start at is up here in QuickBooks if we go to the chart of account now for the single member LLC's it's a sole proprietorships it's always good to have an owner's draw account set up as is just like we have here and so basically what goes on is the owner's draw is all of the drawings that you the owner take out for yourself so it'll always be accounted for under the drawing account inside of owner's equity on your chart of accounts so the most effective way to do an owner's withdrawal is to click on write checks over here so when we write checks the write check window should appear and when it does basically this is going to allow you to select which account you're going to be using the withdrawal for so when the write check option comes up in QuickBooks over here under the bank account you could select which bank account you're going to be using to withdraw the cash from for your owner's draw so in this case I have a regular uh, operating cash account set up okay so now here's the thing if you're writing yourself a check you can always indicate the check number here but if this is let's say an ATM withdrawal the check number you can simply write ATM or if it's in branch you could you know select in branch as the number so even though you're writing a check or, or you're going into QuickBooks and writing the check you can treat this as an owner withdrawal simply by indicating the number so it can either be a check number an ATM withdrawal or even in branch withdrawal so whatever the case may be as it suits your business that's the route that you want to take so now under the pay to the order of it's a good idea to have yourself set up in here as I like to name myself other name because technically I'm not a customer of the business and I'm not a vendor so other name can apply to other types of roles that you'll have within your business so you can select your name basically how much you're going to withdraw from the business and QuickBooks is always going to keep a running total of the end of balance and the checking account so as a memo you can see owners draw for personal use and this is good to do this this way because like I said earlier it builds a trail for all of your withdrawals all right so of course um, like I showed you in a prior video you could click attach file to 
attach a copy of you know the withdrawal slip or the ATM receipt so under the account the account is we actually select what account from my chart of accounts that this transaction is going to affect so it's going to be our owner's draw so every time you write a check to yourself you're always going to charge this owner's draw account you have the amount and then you could indicate a memo by doing a copy and paste so we have the owner's draw for personal use so if we look at how we accounted for these owner's draws we went to write check but even though we may not have written a check, we can always indicate the type of withdrawal under the number option in the check. So, of course, we have the date. You have, you'll have yourself in here as the owner. Okay. You'll also have the amount that you're going to be withdrawing from the business. QuickBooks prints the check out normally. All right. You have a memo. You have the account, which is always going to be owner's draw. You have the amount, and then you have a memo. So once you have information in QuickBooks, you can simply just click on save and close, and QuickBooks records all of the owner's draws. So that's the effective way to record an owner's draw inside of QuickBooks. Um, every time cash is withdrawn from the business, it should be highlighted anywhere in your transactions and of course when you do the owner's draw you want to attach a copy of the receipt or uh, the withdrawal ticket or whatever documentation that you received in reference to the owner's draw definitely want to attach it in quickbooks for irs tracking so that's how you perform and owner's draw remember owner's draws is just owner's personal withdrawals from the business for themselves um, you always need to indicate that you did an owner's withdrawal inside of quickbooks using the method that i showed you so please subscribe for future videos um, you can always leave a comment in my uh on my channel and i look forward to seeing you in the next video.